वेलकम टू वॉल्टियर इंजीनियरिंग ट्रेनिंग एंड सपोर्ट आई एम अपूर बापट टुडे इन दिस टुडे इन दिस ट्रेनिंग सीरीज आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सॉलिड थिंकिंग इंस्पायर 9.5 पॉइंट फाइव लेट स्टार्ट विद द ट्रेनिंग सीरीज शेड्यूल इन विच आई एम ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सेशन वन टू थ्री इन विच आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट लाइसेंसिंग इंस्टॉलेशन एंड एक्टिवेशन ऑफ सॉलिड थिंकिंग इंस्पायर नाइन then in session 4 5 6 i have discussed about the basic operations modeling operations and optimization operations available in solid thinking inspire 9.5 and how to use them then uh, i started with the tutorials uh, in which i have covered session 7 8 and 9 and also in 10 so i have already discussed about getting started moving and snapping sketching and optimizing a bridge and exploring multiple load cases now In today's session, that is session number 11, I am going to discuss tutorial number five, which is preparing CAD geometry. Uh, then, in the later session, I am going to discuss about the defeaturing a model, minimizing mass, saving and exporting file. So, uh, in today's session, uh, we will going to see how to import a CAD model, break a part into multiple parts, copy reference geometry, trace curves using sketch tools. Pull a sketch curve into a solid. Use Boolean intersection to create new parts. define a design space so uh, in today's session what we are going to do is if we have a cad geometry and we want to divide it into design and non design parts so how you can do it in st inspire 9.5 so let's start with the opening of gui of uh, solid thinking inspire 9.5 uh, it, uh, in short it's called as st inspire 9.5 to open it go to start all programs altair hyperwork student edition solid thinking inspire 9.5 click on inspire it will open the gui of solid thinking inspire 9.5 we'll open the model as uh, arm straight dot x underscore t so this is my model as you can see this is a single part so if you want to perform the topology optimization here or perform optimization on this model we need to divide the part into design and non design space so how you can do it uh, we'll see in this model so we will start with this uh, sketching tool so we'll use the break create new part click on create new part then click on this line and uh, select create curves from all reference lines so it will create an entire curve here for the new part then right click to select this part again right click to finalize it so we have created a reference surface of this so what i'll do is i'll turn off this so this is the reference surface now we'll use push pull option and pull it the other way around so i have pulled it this way and on this so now i have two parts one is this part and the other one is this so now i'm going to divide this part so to divide it we'll use uh, intersect option select this part select the other part turn on keep this and click on perform this so this will now become the new part you can see here so you can rename it as paddle we will rename it as paddle then this also will be a non design space so to create this again go to break select create new part but we don't want this to be the reference line so what i will do is i will right click on the edge and click on create curves so i will select the curves which i want uh, the surface to have like that so i have this curve again right click so i have a new part with this so now what i will do is i will turn off this one and go to push pull and pull it down turn on the other again go to intersect option select the base part the other part with which i want to intersect and keep this part and click on perform the operation so now i have this 
or as a separate for the non design so i have two uh, these two separate non design components and this is uh, one component also this i want to divide it so one more option we have to divide it is we can create a circle create new part from this center to this i will create a circle so i have created a circle in the new part you can see now i will turn off this off and off now go to push pull and pull it down turn on the other component same intersection option select this select this part and click on perform the operation so now i will turn these on so now i have these three as a different components so these three will be a different component which i can take as the non design component so i will right click and make this design so in this way you can edit a cad geometry to make it in a design and non design space so whatever cad geometry you have once you import it it may occur that it comes in one part or a multiple parts so if you want to make a certain sections of design and non design you can use these commands to perform these operations so in this way i have ended with this tutorial thank you very much for watching this uh, uh, to attending this session and watching this video if you have any queries feel free to ask and drop us a mail also thank you very much